Look at those big old dinosaur feet. Oh, I was just petting him for like five minutes without doing a video. And I'm like, oh, I should probably take a video of this. And then he gets up. Oh, you sitting? You sitting like a good girl, Julie? There you go. You sit, Petunia? Sit, Tuni. There you go. Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Julie. Sit. Sit. Oh, there you go, pig. There you go. Petunia, you sit. You sitting so good, Daisy. Can you sit, Julie? Go, go. Oh, it is go, girl, Julie. She's so solid and she's so strong. Daisy, go sitting. Go girl, Daisy. There you go. Oh, Petunia. There you go. There's good piggy, Daisy. And Kit Kat. What are you doing, Kit Kat? So good back here, Daisy. You were sitting so patiently. I know. There you go, Jenny. Oh, look at Julie sitting. You sitting? Oh, there's good pig, Julie. <laughs> Daisy's just going back and forth like, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm sitting, look at me. There's all the little piggies. So we got Wilbur, and Amy Swine House, and Molly, and Puddles. Alright, so quarties are all happily eating their food. 
So we're gonna set a timer for 45 minutes and go feed the Mars, the foxes, and clean up the quaddy poop, and then we'll let them back out. There you go, guys. Timothy always pulls the bull away, so these are the Patagonian Mara. Very cute little critters. Bam is in the background trying to intimidate probably a squirrel. <laughs> oh, look how cute. They're so cute together. Time to feed the foxes. Hazel. Why you like this, Hazel? Why you like this? Hazel. Good girl. Hazel. Good girl. Hazel. Good girl. Hazel. Good. Hazel. Good. Good girl. Hazel. Good. There you go. Good girl, Hazel. There's Shippo eating his food up there. Kira. Good girl. Kira. Good girl. And here's Yue eating her food. And then now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody fresh water and then feed the pork bun. There you go. Good go, little dude. Oh, look at him. He's got his his quills up right now. Can I see what you're eating? Whoa. <laughs> he gets super defensive about his food. Look at him. Easy buddy. Just trying to see. Oh, don't get crazy. He's so cute when he eats, but yeah, I already knew. He gets defensive about it. Well, that's the most defensive he's gotten so far. We might have to start using the walkout. I like feeding him in here so I can be in here and see it, but uh, we did build a walkout, so that might be the way to go. Yeah, he's still in a very defensive posture right now with the quills up high. He's not relaxed at all. So, see how he's orienting himself? Now he has the clothes pointed more towards me, but at an angle so he can still keep an eye on me. I gave you the food, you big doofus. I'm not gonna take it. Of course, you can hear Hazel back there too, just being crazy. Hi, Cosmo. You happy eating your food? There's Chloe back there. And then here is Miss Azula. Hello. You enjoying your food? Meow. Yeah. Petrie. Petrie. 
so fast. Petri. Good boy. Daddy. Good boy. Tazzy. Tazzy. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Good boy. Got your blueberries. Yeah. Some dragon fruit. Good boy. There you go. All right. Here we go. Look at these little happy little prairie dogs. There's Cheeky. Filthy. As usual, because she works so hard. Here's Poppy. Perfect, because he does literally nothing all day. He just lays in his food bowl, gets pet, and eats everything. Doesn't do any work at all. And Cheeky over here does all the work. There's all the small parrots. Just gave them all fresh food and water. Ooh, the little guy's fighting back here. And the little quail down here. Just got a few quail eggs from them. Here's here the crocodile monitor. Just gave him some quail and chicken eggs. Alright, so this is going to be the quarantine slash hospital pond for incoming alligators or injured alligators. And we've got Jeremiah over there on the machine digging a hole for this thing. Perfect spot. Over there, you mean? Yes. So, yeah, that'll be kind of hidden. That's the idea is to make it kind of hidden. That way, uh, you know, the animal can be calm and not be bothered and kind of going to be back in the bush right there. And this will fit, I mean, it's eight feet across, but a lot of people keep like 10 foot alligators in this as their permanent home. Um, a lot of people, I know people have got like 12 foot alligators and something like this. This is where they live. And uh, obviously that's not the, uh, the standard that we're going to have, but it will suffice as a 
hospital cage, quarantine, even if, if we had to put Dino in here, we could, is what I'm saying. You know, because obviously the tail curls, and even though, you know, he's so big, again, I do know people who literally keep their 12 foot gators and something like this as a permanent home. Maybe we should put Dino in here while we're doing that chelation therapy, honestly. I was thinking that. So it'll work. Um, and it's just like the advantage of doing this, I've talked about it before, but the advantage of having this is they can't get away. You know, so like for him, if we have to give him an injection, something like that, we could literally just stick him in here instead of chasing him around a 50 foot, six foot deep pond that he lives in right now, you know? And then we're gonna make the fenced in area relatively small too. And uh, it'll just make it a lot easier for applying any sort of medication we might need to or any, any of that kind of stuff, you know? Also shallower water if we need to uh, dry dock somebody for whatever reason. It, just a multitude of different things for a smaller isolation area. All right, so now we got a big storm coming in. So you can see the aviary out there, and that's a uh, baby Galapagos tortoises in front of it, and to the left are the prairie dogs. It's coming down. Guys, this weather, this is insane. Like, it was just coming in completely sideways. I've been actually over here setting up this uh, outdoor couch our friends just gave us. Thankfully it's outdoor because it just got completely soaked. All the rain was coming in totally sideways, hitting the wall. Like, it's flooding out there. Like, look at the ground. It's just a, a sheet of water flowing down towards the pond right now. I don't know if you can tell, but that's that's Theodore's little area, and it's holding water over there like a pond right now. It's raining so heavy. There's so much water coming down. My phone can't even focus. Well, this uh, was the hole for the turtle pond, and we had a very defined edge right here and a nice shelf coming down into another shelf. And that rain just flooded it and just destroyed that whole shelf idea, so... Oh, that really sucks. Gonna have to redo the sides of it, it looks like. But, yeah, it was raining so hard and heavy, guys. Like, I don't even know how to describe how hard it was raining. I've never had it rain this hard here. I mean, I, I don't think I've had a storm that bad outside of a hurricane. Like, that was crazy. Asami! Come here. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. And some nice banana. Yeah. So she's hiding out in her log through all this rain. It was pouring. Still raining now, of course, but pretty light, relatively. Judd, look at little house. Hey, Judd. Wow, it just got sand blasted up from that rain everywhere. In your little house. Hi, baby. Here, I got an extra small bowl to give you delivery, rabbit. There you go. A nice little delivery, huh? Yeah, that rain was like coming in sideways. His whole thing is like soaked, like all over in here. That was, it was insane. That rain was wild. Oh, these stinky kawadis. Oh, these stinkers. What you guys think? In a storm crazy? In a crazy storm? You guys look dry. You guys look dry, you yeah.
So now I'm just checking on everybody because of this big storm. And look at that big old branch fell on top of the foxes, but didn't break anything. That's a, that's a pretty big branch up there. Little dude's over here. He looks good. I'll take a closer look, but I don't see any fallen branches, but man, this looks this looks pretty pretty big. Better scare the crap out of you guys. Okay, so now after I look closer, it looks like the branch bounced to there. It first hit here and it did crack it. It broke the plastic and it cracked that beam. Wow. Right now, that's a whole big long piece, man. I gotta get out of here tomorrow with a ladder and check it all out. I mean, the enclosure is secure for the foxes still. They're they're gonna be fine, they can't get out or anything, but I'm gonna have to get out here with a ladder tomorrow and check this. Oh my God, look at you, right? When I tell you guys, I am so glad we just trimmed this tree up after seeing the damage on the foxes. That big branch that was hanging over this that might have gone in this storm. I mean, I'm not kidding. That was probably one of the most powerful storms I've ever seen that's not in a hurricane. I mean, it was insane. And we just trimmed that big branch that was going right over top of the aviary. And there's a good chance that thing would have went in that storm. So whew, talk about timing. So these guys uh, got saved by that. Hi, right, Jelly Bean. Here's Petrie, here's Zazu. You see all the leaves blown up against the side? Here's Azula, hi Azula. Here's Cosmo, hi Cosmo. And here's Cupid and Chloe, hi guys. All right, so now that the rain has subsided, we're walking the perimeter check the perimeter fence and look for any down trees i think that storm was i don't know man that was pretty close to being a tornado i think because i mean the way that rain was coming in completely sideways it was pretty bad we got a lot of down branches 